Morning, everybody. It's uh, Friday morning, end of the week. Thank God. Uh, been a very bouncy week in both directions. This is your pre-opening comment, and it is video number 1,194. Okay, uh, as far as foreign markets go, uh, Asia is a little higher, Europe is a little lower. Um, and, you know, I just have to say this to start. What is the bullshit about Congress being able to trade on information that they themselves are generating? Seven million dollars in purchases from a bunch of con uh, congressional members prior to the invasion buying defense stocks, oil and gas stocks. I mean, I just don't get it. I'd be in jail if I did that. These jackasses who just, by the way, voted themselves another raise, get away with it. Amazing. Dow futures uh, a little while ago uh, were down 206. They're now down 183. Uh, NASDAQ was down 120, uh, have, uh, now down uh, 101, so not much there. And S&P, the same situation, it was down 32, now down about uh, 29. GameStop reports a loss. What a surprise. Disappointing on revenue. Stock closed 87.70 yesterday, traded as low as 80.10, last 81 and a quarter, down 6.95 or 7.15%. FedEx, as usual, reports a miss. Stock closed 227, uh, got down to 219, last is 220.65, down another 7.33 or 3.2%. Uh, Stone, S-T-O-N, went the other way, had a big beat, uh, gave good guidance. The stock is 1235, up 274, and that is 28%. And um, Boeing, talking about a deal uh, with Delta Airlines to buy 100 737 Maxes, uh, Boeing is up, you know, not much, but with the futures down like this, uh, even 196 and uh, 19135 up a dollar 16 is still better than the rest of the market. Uh, we have existing home sales coming out, but that doesn't happen till 10 o'clock, so I figured I'd get started here. Okay, so uh, we had the oil up yesterday. It's basically unchanged today. Uh, trading over a hundred, uh, down twenty-one cents now, at a hundred and one forty-four. It was as high as a hundred and four sixty-eight. Uh, Nat gas was uh, down about twenty, currently down about five, coming back. Same situation with the corn, uh, which we have a position in, down four forty after yesterday's being up twenty-five, and the day before's being down 24. So, uh, you know, it's getting a little hectic there. That is so clearly part of the uh, Ukraine-Russia deal because, as I've mentioned before, 30% of the world's uh, corn and wheat come out of the Ukraine and Russia. Okay, let's take a look here. The uh, S&P futures I've already given you. Let's see where the gold and silver are. Gold is down 430 after being up big yesterday. Silver, the same situation, down 17 cents. Copper, the industrial metal, basically unchanged, up nine tenths of a penny. Uh, platinum up, <clears throat> excuse me, palladium up. Bitcoin. Uh, down 445, but still holding that 40,000 level. Uh, 2810 on the uh, Ethereum, which is down 22. It had a good day yesterday. Uh, the dollar, after falling for a couple of days, is back up. 
today, 41 cents at 98.39, and the bonds are up 22 30 seconds, uh, which is a shade over five eighths of a point. Uh, we have, uh, you know, more concerns about China, uh, Biden, for whatever it means is supposed to speak with Xi today, hasn't talked to him since uh, November of last year, and I'm sure he's going to be the milk toast kind of guy that he is, and nothing of any consequence will come out of that. All right, everyone, have a good day, and if I don't come back during the day, have a good weekend, and I'll be back on Monday.